Hi friends! Today I will tell you a story about three friends and their spooky adventure in the woods. Once upon a time, three friends, Leo, Mia, and Sam, loved exploring the woods near their town. They were always ready for adventure, always curious about what lay hidden among the tall trees. But the deeper parts of the woods were different. They were darker, thicker, and had an eerie silence about them. Many people in town whispered stories about these deeper woods, claiming that strange things happened to anyone who went too far. One cool October afternoon, when the air felt fresh and the sky was cloudy, the three friends decided it was the perfect day to go exploring. They were on a mission to find the big tree, the largest and oldest tree in the woods, which was said to be hidden beyond the usual trails. Some said it was a thousand years old, with branches that stretched like arms reaching toward the sky. But to find it, the friends had to go deeper than they'd ever gone before. Are you sure we'll be able to find it? Sam asked, his round glasses slipping down his nose. He looked a little nervous as he peered into the woods. Of course, Mia said, grinning confidently. Mia was the brave one, always leading the way and always ready to solve any mystery. My brother said the big tree is somewhere near the old stone path. If we find that path, we're sure to find the tree. Leo looked around. The trees here seemed taller, with branches that twisted and tangled like arms. The wind blew softly, making the leaves dance and rustle. The deeper they went, the more the woods seemed to change. The sunlight barely made it through the thick branches, casting strange shadows on the ground. Every snap of a twig or rustle of leaves made them jump a little, though none of them would admit they were getting spooked. They walked for what felt like ages, and finally, they saw it. A narrow, twisting path made of old stones, mostly hidden by moss and fallen leaves. This must be it, Mia whispered, her voice full of excitement. Let's go. The friends stepped onto the old stone path, each of their footsteps making a soft crunch sound. The deeper they went, the quieter the woods became. The birds stopped chirping, the leaves stopped rustling, and even the air seemed to get colder. Soon, the only sounds were their footsteps and their own breathing, echoing softly in the silence. Leo felt a chill run down his spine as he looked around. He thought he saw something move in the shadows, like a flicker of movement between the trees. But when he looked closer, it was gone. Do you think something is watching us? Sam whispered, glancing over his shoulder. His voice shook just a little. Mia laughed, but it sounded a bit shaky. Don't be silly, Sam. There's nothing here but trees and more trees. She kept walking, but her pace slowed just a bit. As they continued down the path, a strange feeling settled over them, like they were being followed. The shadows around them seemed to grow longer, and the trees seemed to crowd closer. Just when they were starting to wonder if they should turn back, they reached a clearing. And there, right in the center, stood the big tree. The big tree was enormous, much taller and wider than they'd imagined. Its trunk was as thick as a house, covered in knots and twists, and its branches stretched out like the arms of a giant. The roots poked out of the ground, twisting and curling like the legs of a huge spider. They stared up at it in awe. Wow, Mia said softly, her eyes wide. We actually found it. It's amazing. But just as they started to walk closer, a strange sound floated through the air, a soft whisper like a sigh that drifted on the wind. The friends froze, looking at each other with wide eyes. Did you hear that? Sam asked, his voice barely louder than a whisper. Leo swallowed, feeling his heart pound. Maybe it's just the wind? But then they heard it again, louder this time. Why have you come here? The voice seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere, echoing through the clearing. The three friends clung to each other, backing away from the big tree. But just as they turned to leave, they heard footsteps, soft, slow footsteps coming closer and closer. We should go back, Mia whispered, trying to keep her voice steady. She turned to look at the stone path, but it had vanished. There was no path, only thick trees surrounding them on every side. We're lost, Sam gasped, panic creeping into his voice. Leo tried to stay calm, but he felt just as scared. Stay together, everyone he said. Maybe we just took a wrong turn. 
Let's try to retrace our steps. But every way they turned, the woods looked the same. The trees seemed to shift and twist, blocking their path and closing in around them. Shadows moved between the trees, flickering just out of sight, and the feeling of being watched grew stronger. Then, the whispers returned, but this time it sounded like laughter, soft, eerie laughter that sent chills up their spines. There was a long pause, and then the voice replied almost playfully, to play. Play? Sam repeated, glancing nervously at his friends. What kind of game? Just then, something stepped out from behind the big tree. It was a child, a girl with pale skin, dark eyes, and a dress that looked old and faded, like it had been there for many years. Her hair was tangled and wild, and her eyes seemed to glow with a strange light. Follow me, she whispered, her voice barely louder than a breath. She turned and began to walk deeper into the trees, her footsteps soft and almost silent. Uh, I think we'll just stay here, Leo muttered, pulling Mia and Sam closer. But the girl turned back, her eyes locking onto them. You're lost, she said, her voice a cold whisper. I can help you find your way, if you play. What game do you want to play? Mia asked, her voice wavering as she tried to sound brave. The girl smiled, but it wasn't a friendly smile. Hide and seek, she said. I'll count, and you hide. The friends looked at each other, their hearts pounding. They didn't have a choice. Okay, Leo whispered. We'll play. The girl grinned and turned to face the big tree. She covered her eyes with her hands and began to count, her voice echoing through the clearing. One, two, three. Leo hid behind a tree, his back pressed against the rough bark. He could see Sam hiding behind a bush, peeking out nervously, and Mia crouched behind a fallen log, her eyes wide with fear. Ready or not, the girl's voice echoed through the woods. Leo held his breath, trying not to move as he listened. The girl's footsteps were soft, almost like a whisper. He closed his eyes, hoping she wouldn't find him, but then he heard her voice, closer than he expected. He peeked out and saw her standing near the log where Mia was hiding. Mia's eyes were wide, frozen with fear as the girl's pale hand reached out toward her. But just before she touched Mia, something strange happened. The branches of the big tree began to move, reaching out toward the girl. Go, now! A deep, gentle voice whispered, coming from the tree. The friends quickly regrouped, their hearts racing. What's going on? Sam whispered, his voice full of fear. The tree, it saved me, Mia said, looking back at the big tree in awe. The girl turned toward them, her face twisted with anger. She started to step forward, but the branches of the big tree moved again, curling protectively around the friends. She's trapped here, the tree's voice said softly. Lost in these woods long ago, now she wants company. You must go, the tree's voice said, sounding tired but kind. The friends nodded, fear and relief flooding over them. As they dashed through the trees, the woods seemed to open up, creating a path that hadn't been there before. Finally, they burst out of the woods and onto the familiar trail leading home. The woods looked peaceful again, as if nothing strange had ever happened. 